Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Lloyd. He loves you here. I am actually back with the best of three with one of my good friends, uh, Lee Pro. Lee, oh, sorry, Lee Provis. Um, he's a well-known player slash commentator now in uh, Europe. And um, uh, there's not much to say. I mean, I'm not sure of his accomplishments this season, but I know that um, him and I have faced each other in the uh, Sao Paulo Challenge in top f top four. And I end, I end up I ended up winning the set, uh, I believe two one. So yeah, GG's to him there. And I wanted to come back to the channel with a best of three here. And I'm sorry I haven't been making content. Been it's been a wild ride, but I, I'm I don't want to say I'm back, but whenever I get the chance to upload something, I will. So I'm gonna get into battle here. Um, Ali Provis is also known as Osiris VGC, so please give him a follow. I'll be leaving a link down below to his YouTube channel slash Twitter and all of his uh, good stuff down there. So uh, yeah, let the battle begin today. Uh, this team that I have in game is not like updated to the meta of so. You say it's been in my box for months now, and um, yeah, let's just get into it here. Lee is rocking the Coco Arcanine, Celestela, Nine Tails, Zerkatry, and Garchomp. So, this is looking a lot, a lot like Sam Penadelis's uh, world's team he got second place with. He had the Mandibles over the Celestela. Mm. You know, uh, the funny thing is, is that I honestly have no answers to this. Oh my god, I have, I don't have a lot of answers here. Uh, I think I need Gigalith. I need Gigalith, and I need to like. Go Coco. P2. Gigalith. No. I think I want to go. Arc. Uh oh. I think I want to go Lele. Arcanine. P2 and giggle here. And I'm gonna lock in. So, the reason why I went with this is because. Um, the psychic terrain, I, the psychic terrain boost is good on Lele. Uh, the only thing I gotta be wary of is that opposing, uh, Celestela. And I need things to kind of damage the, uh, Zerkatry. Because once Zerkatry gets up, it's, up, it's, it's a lot. Um, we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna go top of Lele Arcanine. Hopefully we don't see a Nine Tails Zerkatry lead. I don't think he'll bring Nine Tails to a Gigalith fight. So yeah, we both end up leading the same exact thing. So I believe this is a protect bulldoze play. In all honesty, either way. I want to get rid of this top later as soon as possible. Ar Arcanine is not really the threat here. I think Lele is the threat. And I don't want to... So this is hard. I could, I could go for the Moonblast here and Toxic. Because, okay, if he decides to protect... If he decides to protect Bulldoze, I'll be able to get Toxic Damage onto the Arcanine. Um, I'm locking myself into Moonblast for sure with the Lele. I need to get damage onto that Lele as soon as possible. So let's see what happens here. He could go for the Protect Bulldoze play is what I'm fearing. Uh, what else? The top of Lele protects. Yep. I almost went for that Helping Hand Psyching into the... Uh, that's fine. So Top Lele is now back to its normal speed here. Toxic.
Huh, alright. So, if I remember, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty speedy Lele. Yeah, this is a very, it's a very speedy Lele, so. I think that locking into the helping hand and going for the moon blast is pretty darn safe. I don't see my opponent going for, uh. I think my opponent goes for the, uh, Flare Blitz slash. Flare Blitz onto Lele slash, um, Psychic onto Arcanine. So I'm gonna go for the Helping Hand Moon Blast play here. Um. Arcanine goes for Helping Hand. My Arcanine. So I'm gonna reveal that I am actually the Choice Scarf item. If I do go first. Okay, so he goes for the help Psychic MZ, which is. I'm fine with that. I fine with that. So, it's also good to note that, um, after one bulldoze, his Lele is faster than mine, even with the choice scarf. Oh, I'm so rusty. So this is gonna KO Arcanine, which is fine. I, I could care less. The only thing I'm nervous about Oh, that went into the, uh, Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm really rusty. That went into the opposing, um, top of the layer. That, that was a clean, 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 clean knockout. Hmm. That's not good. Uh. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry. That's, that's just me being rusty. Um. Uh, So I'm gonna go for the trick room here, and I'm also gonna go for the toxic onto the top of Lele. So if he decides to knock out the Arcanine, uh, I get in the Giggle Fins for free, and also get trick room up, barring if he has roar. But if he decides to taunt the Porygon too, I, I'm able to get the toxic off onto the. Uh, yeah, so it looks like he went for the psychic into the Arcanine, which is the correct play. Oh, you went for taunt. Okay. Alright, so. Uh. I'm gonna forfeit here. Ooh, that was a bad game one. That was a bad game one. Uh, should I keep. I think I should. I don't wanna reveal Shadow Ball. As yet. Alright, wait, I think there's an out. I'm gonna Shadow Ball here and I'm gonna protect the Arcanine. Hmm. He actually switches out his Arcanine, so that's also fine. Uh, this another correct play. Oh man, I'm getting beat. That's fun. So I'm actually gonna switch out the Porygon too. I'm gonna switch out the Porygon too here into Gigalith. And I'm gonna have Flare Blitz onto the Soul Stealer. Hopefully, I get a crit. <laughs> no, that sounds crazy. But I, th I'm pretty sure if I'm able to get myself into Trick Room, switch it Arcanine out into Layla. Garchomp. Okay. So we know this. It can't go for the Zemo here. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe this is the Assault Vest Garchomp. I'm not too sure. We'll be able to find out soon. Assault vest or choice card, whatever the case may be. I'd assume, uh... I did nothing. Oh, man. This is bad. I'm gonna continue playing it out, though. Play leftover Sully. So I'm gonna 
protect here and switch my Porygon to and If I could get Trick Room up, I think I'll be alright. So I'm just praying that that is the case, but fearing a top of Lele switch pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Uh, nothing is really being threatened now. The Garchomp comes back out, top of Lele comes back in, which is fine. This is rough. Um, so the taunt, I think he has to go for taunt. Like, has to, has to go for taunt. Let's. I want to switch an Arcanine again. Or I could. I could honestly rock slide. Uh. Yeah, I think I wanna. Alright, I wanna click Stone Edge. Switch an Arcanine. Yep. Oh, I need to get lucky here. I wanna k uh, preserve my uh, Z move for the. Uh, for the Celestella. Hopefully. Damn, I'm getting red like a buck, guys. Uh. I could have went for the protect trick room play, but I thought it was way too obvious. Okay, that's fine. That's damage. Okay. Oh my God! If I only I got that trick room, out, I should have just went for it. Strangely enough, I feel as though I could sort of crawl my way back in, but it's not looking too good. Uh, I gotta get Trick Room up. I need Gigalift to take, like, zero damage while doing that. He has Garchomp in the back. I'm assuming it's AV. This is not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good, but I think that I could, uh, pull through this. He has a uh, Toxic Arcanine in the back. If I could get into a situation where it's just Porygon 2 and... Porygon 2 Gigalith and uh... Let's see. Oh. Okay. So now... I'm pretty sure I forced him to choose. The question is... Who do I go for here? I, I'm going for the, uh... I definitely go for the, um, the Lele here. Yeah. No, it's in the butts about it. I doubt this Arcanine is faster, though. I know this is a very bulky Arcanine. I played this one terribly. The turn one and turn two were okay. Turn one wasn't that bad, but um, not protecting turn two was bad. Oh, so he switched the cell seal out into Arcanine, which is okay. It's 
fine. Yeah. yeah, okay. He has multiple plays. He has protected Q. Uh, but I feel as though my play is Ice Beam and switch out my Arcanine. But he could also... He could Rock Slide Flare Blitz. Oh, he switches. Uh, what does he go for? Goes for EQ, okay. Crit? Okay, so that's AV. Has to be. It's AV chomp, 100%. Because I'm analytic P2. Or that could be heavily invested. I'm not too sure on the calcs on that, but I don't remember. Ugh, Arcanine comes in. I'm gonna play it out. The I'm gonna ice beam and protect. Oh, I played that one terribly. It's no good, it's no good. I'm sorry, guys. But thankfully, this is the best of three. And you also learn from your mistakes, so. I'm not too sure if this is emo, though. I don't know. It's going for EQs. Yeah, it's a quick one. Oh, we get to see what boost this Celesteela gets. Special defense. Alright. So I think we got enough information in this game. Um, Z move on Lele. I'm not too sure what item is on the guard champ. I'm assuming Assault Vest due to the Ice Beam. Uh, how much Ice Beam did to the opposing uh, guard champ. Uh... What else did we learn? We didn't, uh, we didn't say anything else, I mean. Arcanine has Bulldoze. I'm assuming it's Barry as well. GG's to my opponent, um, that game one I got wrecked, uh, should have been wary about the, uh, psychic play. Um, I also assumed at neutral speed my Lele would have outsped his uh I thought that I was heavily invested in special attack but I don't think it mattered too much but if it uh it probably did matter it, okay it definitely did matter but uh I should have played it safe um but I didn't have any switch ins for helping and psychic, so there was that as well. So uh, GG's to my opponent, and I'll be back for a game two. Bye.